you are watching pop star entertainment hello everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new here please consider subscribing the roles are reversed when Jacobet calls Guaido to inform him that she has changed her mind, advising him to continue writing the book about the experience that she had with Mr. Hanyao. Guaido was astounded by the call considering her previous behavior when Guaido confronted him. He was instructed not to inform his wife Elizabeth when Jacobet gave Guaido permission to begin writing the book. She suggested that the book must be titled Slice of Hell. And this must stay between the two of them, Lizzie mustn't know about this. Guaido having experienced a misunderstanding with the mayor during their last meeting, he opted to pay for Braboiki and Tabo's lunch as a strategic move to facilitate communication with the mayor. By doing so, he aimed to ensure that Mr. Boiki would advocate on his behalf, is in the tension ahead of their scheduled encounter on Monday. Guaido sought to avoid any potential embarrassment, particularly given their previous conflict, and felt uncertain about the mayor's expectation for their upcoming discussion and meeting on the site on Monday. Guaido and Tabo's fight is getting out of hand now. They started so well this company and now they're always fighting due to their financial problems at the company. Tabo came up with the idea that they have to reduce some workers for overtime work since they don't have enough money. That will help them save a lot to save the company. But Guido on the other side keeps fighting Tabo and tell him about the 6 million rand that he used. After being held hostage, Reed attempted to transfer 2 million rand to Nchaba. But the bank fraudulent investigator contacted her to verify her identity regarding the transaction. Since the transfer did not go through, the banker advised Pretty to complete the transaction in person at the branch, ensuring proper verification and security measures are followed. This approach highlights the bank's commitment to preventing fraud and protecting customers' financial interests. After the failed transaction, Chaba got very upset and pointed the gun on Pretty's face. And few minutes later, Nchaba decided to go and finish up digging the safe. That's when he managed to take out the safe. And Francisco knocked on the door, but Nchaba opened and pointed the gun on him. Mobiti attempted to engage her listener in a discussion about returning to work after having children. The conversation took an unexpected turn when a caller redirected the conversation to her personal experience. Instead of sharing insights from others, the caller crisis might be about her own decision to leave her newborn behind and the challenges that granted her early return from maternity leave. This inquiry exposes the underlying issues in her family life, compelling her to confront the reality that no rational person would willingly abandon a newborn for work. As she navigates this uncomfortable dialogue, Mabizi faced the pressure to be honest and had struggled revealing the complexity of balancing professional obligation with the demands of motherhood. We came to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching till this far. That's the summary of what had happened on Skim Sam 24 October. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next upload. Do not forget to like, share 